That's I've it. got uh, a couple of TV reviews to do. I've also got TV reviews to do. You go first. Liam. Wait a second. I know, I know that Wait you know second. that I've been Hold watching up. it. Hold up. For any new listeners, uh, TV review, very similar to film review, where we do like a spoiler-free review of a TV show. The caveat being, our film reviews are generally stuff from the cinema. TV review ah. doesn't necessarily have to be a, a new release. No, yeah, it's it's whatever the fuck we've watched. Yeah. So I just, any new listeners, I wanted to get them up to speed. Go no, ahead. got you, Liam. I, I totally respect it. Uh, mine is a new release. I, Liam, have been watching, I've, I've watched the entire series of Queer Eye. Okay, is that is that the whole title? Yeah, it's yeah. it used to be. So there was an original show called Queer Eye for, for a straight guy or for the straight guy. Okay. They've remade it on Netflix with a new cast and it's right. just called Queer Eye. Okay. Because they're not just for straight guys anymore. Yeah, but, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, no, it's, uh, yeah, I, sorry, I, I didn't realise that that was like quite a profound statement you made there. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I watched it as a, I just, it was on Netflix as my recommended, I'd heard people talking about it, and I was like, it's the kind of mind, I thought it was going to be the kind of mindless shit that I could just put on and not be focusing on. Yeah. Uh, I immediately fell in love with it after episode one. Of course. And in two days have watched all eight episodes. Yeah. There, it's, the, the premise of the show is that these five gay guys called the Fab Five, uh, made up of Bobby... Caramo, uh, Anthony, Tan, and Jonathan, yeah. who are the most adorably happy people in the world, and I love them. Yeah. They basically get someone, like, you, you recommend your friend, so I could recommend you for the show. Okay. They go out, and they basically, the, the premise is, they go and, like, spice up your wardrobe, update your house, uh, Johnny does grooming, so he sorts out your beard and your hair. Right. Caramo's culture, so he teaches them because a lot of these people are like, you know, oh, I don't go to the theatre or like museums and stuff. And he's yeah. like, I'll help you figure out what's good and like what you should be doing. Yeah. And then Anthony teaches them food, which usually consists of him telling them one dish that they can make, which is amazing and I love it. Okay. But the 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 like the reason so on on the surface that just sounds like a you know sort of generic y reality TV showy thing. Yeah, it sounds awful. The bit that makes the show incredible and just amazing to watch is the like it focuses on the relationship that the five guys build with the person that they're helping. Like it's usually someone that, you know, in like a more like back in the past, these people probably would not have hung out with five gay guys. Right. Like one is a really hardcore religious dude. Yeah. And they usually focus on like in some of the episodes, there'll be a specific one of the Fab Five that like has relationship a relationship with like whatever the person is so with the religious one there's one of the guys who used to be religious and then was gay and sort of got kicked out right but then it like it focuses on how they build this relationship where there might not have been one before and like honestly i think seven or six out of eight of the episodes had me in proper tears because i was just like oh my god it's so amazing what's going on on this show all right but we have to let listeners know that you crying over something is not like a big deal no I cry everything, and then since I've started taking estrogen... Oh, new listeners, uh, I'm a trans woman. Yeah. Uh, so that, taking estrogen, has kicked that into overdrive. I now cry... I nearly cried at an advert in a cinema. What it's, was the advert for? Um, It was that one that's all about, like, believing in yourself, and then a lady with a missing leg is trying to learn to walk, and she's like, I can't do it. And then the person's oh. helping her is like, you can do it. And is it all about, like, how technology helps or something? Yeah, she puts on a virtual reality headset and, yeah. like, sees both her legs, and then that helps her walk, and it's all like, Lloyd's Bank, believe in yourself. And I was like, God damn it, Lloyd's. Yeah, okay. It ruins it when it's like, Lloyd's. And I'm like, eh. Yeah. But yeah, so I, I do cry at a lot of stuff, but... yeah, yeah. Aside from that, honestly, this show is amazing. Liam's refusing to watch it because whatever, I don't give a shit anymore. But everyone else can get into watching it. I don't, I don't watch reality TV. But that's neither the, do I. I don't thing. like reality TV and I love this show. Yeah, well. That's the thing. I don't, it depends on, because it's not reality TV in the way that the stereotype of what that means. So what's the stereotype of it? Of re- that, like when someone says reality TV, you're immediately picturing something like the fucking Kardashians or something where it's like, just all these it's sort of like i don't know i think of big brother yeah yeah it's nothing like that okay like reality tv's got that air of like almost skeeviness like you're watching people at their worst just sort of being tits and bit you're like i really like steven because he stripped and jumped in a pool yeah so 
this queer eye, could I recommend you to go on it? You could. I don't know if they do a trans woman. They might. And if you could get me on the show, Liam, honestly, I just want to hang out with Jonathan for the rest of my life. Okay. If I could replace you with Jonathan, I would. I mean, that sounds really mean. I wouldn't even think about it. That sounds really mean. Like, if Jonathan right now, Jonathan, if you listen to Nerd on Nerd, oh God, I will have you on this show in a heartbeat. What do I do? You can just, like, become our social media presence. Uh, you can still tweet people stuff about movies. Nah, I, I, I think the show would go downhill if you did that. You'd have to do your own spin I wouldn't even mind. I wouldn't tell Jonathan. I wouldn't let him see the stats. It would just be me and him talking and no one listening. Just do a spin-off. That could work. Yeah. Nerd on amazing gay guy who everyone is going to love. Yeah, that sounds like a video. But yeah, I give Queer Eye... Like, season one. Is it season, season one? Season one. Yeah. There's only one season so far. Is it American show, sorry? It is American, yeah. Okay. Although Tan, one of the guys, is British. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'd give it five out of five. Hands down. Wow. That's a... Yeah. So it's basically perfect. Yeah. And okay. that's not even... I'm not even being, del- like, flippant. I know I was... I sound like I'm being over the top. I, g- I genuinely give this five out of five. No, yeah, I... You know, believe you. 